Hi, this is Brandon with Precision Defensive Solutions, and today we're going to talk about how to clean your pistol without too much trouble. A lot of people don't clean their guns because it's a lot of it can be a lot of work, or sometimes they get to be a little bit too meticulous. We're going to show you a quick and easy way that that I do it to make life a little bit easier. Now we want to make sure that number one, the work area is clear of any ammunition, and that the gun is disassembled field stripped according to your manufacturer specs. I'm using a P30L in this video, so it might be a little bit different than your typical striker fire. So if you're using uh, an M&P or uh, a SIG P320 or whatever, even a VP9, it's gonna come uh, apart differently than this one. So make sure you check your owner's manual. If you're not sure, give us a call or call the manufacturer and make sure that you know exactly what you're doing. So let's move to the bench. So here we are at the bench and I got various tools. I got my paintbrush that I use for the oil, got a couple of rods, one with a brush, one with patches, a boar snake, and the cleaner. Now the one thing I will say about cleaning a gun, you wanna make sure that the area is clear of any ammunition. We don't want to have any uh, accidents, so we definitely clear the work area of any uh, ammunition and reduce any chances that we have uh, for a problem. So we've got my brand new P30L on uh, here. I'm gonna lock it back. Make sure chamber's clear, magazine well is clear, and it is good to go, okay? And we're gonna take it apart according to the manufacturer's specs. And we're just gonna pull that off. It is literally brand new, folks. I have not even lubed it yet. So we've got, got the slide there. We'll start with that. We'll pull the recoil spring, guide rod uh, assembly out. And we'll take it, pull the barrel out, and it just pops out from the top. And a lot of guns come apart that way. Uh, very simple to do um, and, you know, work with that way. Now, what I usually do to make life a little easier, I literally will just take, take my spray, and I'm using the Lucas Extreme Duty Gun Cleaner, which I really like because it works very, very well, and it doesn't smell. So I'll just spray that out a little bit. And use my microfiber cloth and I love these things and you can get these things right on Amazon they're not terribly expensive and just wipe it out and since this gun has not been shot it should come clean pretty easy um, and even with that gun cleaner uh, they do tend to come clean uh, very easy we want to make sure we get all the little crevices And normally what I would do with a gun that's been shot is I would take a, um, little pipe cleaner and I would run it through the rails just to make sure we get any gunk out, out of that. And then I would run it along underneath the extractor to make sure there's nothing in that either. So that's pretty good there. Um, and we'll come back to that in just a minute. With the barrel, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just spray it off. Not terribly hard to do, spray out the inside. Again, wipe it off. Make sure you don't have any gunk on it. Um, and like I said, with a brand new gun, it's, it's not that big of a deal. You just want to make sure you get all the, the shipping lube out of it <clears throat> and make sure that it's, it's uh, good to go. Now, there's a couple ways that you can do this. Some people like a, a rod with a brush. And you literally take it and just let the rifling rotate it because you want to go in the direction of the rifling okay and go through that a couple times um, and then take 
couple patches and run that through. And you can see even with a brand new gun, that's uh, pretty nasty. So one of the things that I like to do, uh, rather than do that, I tend to normally just use a boar snake, which let me just take it and pull it through. And then we want to look and make sure that we got all the, the garbage out of it. So we're going to set that off to the side. And now we're going to look to the frame. Now the frame, we want to make sure that we get down into these little crevices here. Um, make sure that we're getting all that stuff out. So we're going to spray that out. Literally just wipe it out. The P30s are really easy because from the top side where you clean stuff, uh, there's not a lot of stuff to get in the way, um, which is great. Let me just wipe that out real good. And then you're good to go. So every manufacturer has their specs on lubing. Uh, you, you definitely don't want to under lube and you definitely don't want to over lube. So usually what I do, I like the, again, the, the Lucas Extreme Duty uh, gun oil. Uh, it's got the needle, needle bottle, uh, which makes life a little easier. So you just a couple of drops here and there, definitely in the springs. down in that trigger spring and this is where the paintbrush comes into play so we just spread that around a little bit and this way a little bit goes a long way make sure you get the trigger bar so keep the trigger nice and smooth and then if we go to the slide we do the same thing a couple drops up here anywhere where there's metal on metal contact uh, or friction is where you want to make sure you lube. And that's why I like to just kind of spread it around a little bit. And you don't have to use a lot. And it's going to look like a lot, but even if it's a little bit too much, you can always, always wipe some of it off. So, but you wouldn't run your car without oil. You don't want to run your guns without oil. So we'll make sure we get that. Now with the excess that we have on the brush, we should be able to do the barrel. Yep, looking pretty good. And I wanna make sure we do the top because there's a lot of friction there. Definitely down in the lockup point and then on along the side. Okay. Once we do that, put the barrel back in the slide, lock that into place. And then one of the things that I like to do with the guide rod and recoil spring, especially if it's captured or it's something like this, I want to make sure that I lube that up a little bit. And notice I haven't used the bottle again. It's just the excess from the brush and it's getting plenty of lube on it so you don't again you don't need a ton but uh, you want to make sure that you get get all that lubed up put that back together so that it uh, stays in there the gun back together just as so and again anytime you're handling the gun you want to make sure that you're being safe make sure you check it like a couple times uh, check it for function and it works well so that's all there is to it folks hope that helps you out